In the Test Settings tab, we select the test model. As we must ensure that the undervoltage criterion is always met during the tests, we select Constant Test Voltage. For the value, we need to enter a voltage that is less than 85% of the nominal voltage and outside of the voltage tolerance, for example, 82%. We then set the duration of both the pre-incident and reset states to one second. The reset state is output after every ramp to ensure that the protection device resets. It is important to ensure that the currents and voltages in both states are not within the trip range. The maximum incident duration is only relevant for shot tests and not for ramps. Now we define the power ramps in order to test the characteristic. The characteristic is indicated by the blue line on the power diagram. The red circle results from the minimum current criterion. To test the characteristic, we will define a total of four ramps, two ramps for active power generation and two ramps for active power drawing. It is important to ensure that the test currents are above the minimum current. We first select incident type ABC as the QV protection only trips when all three of the phase-to-phase -phase voltages drop. Under Ramp Mode, we select S5. We begin the first ramp at a test current of 300 milliamps. Initially, the angle of the apparent power is 180 degrees. The ramp ends at an angle of 170 degrees. The test current should remain unchanged at 300 milliamps. During the test, the phi angle should be gradually altered in steps of minus 0.5 degrees. The duration of the individual steps should be one second, which is double the trip time. Click on the Append Ramp button to add the ramp to the test. Now we define a similar ramp for a test current of 800 milliamps. To do this, we right-click on the first ramp to copy it and then subsequently paste it. Then we change the test current for the start and end values accordingly. Now we paste the first ramp once again and change the power angle so we can test the characteristic for active power drawing. The ramp now runs incrementally from 0 degrees to 10 degrees. We copy this ramp once again for a current of 800 milliamps. The four ramps are also displayed in the power plane. In the last step, we define the assessments. The first assessment is carried out for ramp 1. The measurement takes place at the point in time in which the trip signal changes from 0 to 1. We measure the phi angle. The nominal value is 177 degrees. The permissible deviation is 2 degrees. Now we copy the assessment so that we can use it for the second ramp. The angle of the second ramp must also be 177 degrees in accordance with the characteristic. For the third and fourth ramp, the nominal value is 3 degrees respectively. Now we can start the test. As usual, the test results can be viewed in the module itself and in the report. This concludes the test of the QV protection power characteristic. Please note that additional tests are required for a complete test of the QV protection. For example, 
An additional advanced power module can be added that contains a ramp at a constant test voltage above the undervoltage threshold in the reactive power trip range. In this case, the protection device must not trip. The test module examines the behavior of the protection device by using the values in the test object and automatically checks that the protection device has not tripped.